you know, yeah, being able to um, even start to think about putting this musical on stage is such an exciting place to be. I've been wanting to do this again for years and years and years, uh, but I just haven't really been in the position to do it. And now I feel like, you know, there's just never going to be a convenient time to live your dreams. <laughs> so. You just have to make time for them. And so that's kind of where I'm at in my life. When I did this for the first time with Jane Butler, with Cursed by a Woman, my first musical, I loved it. It was probably the busiest and craziest time in my life, but I just loved it. And you fall in love with the people that you're working with, and you just, it's such a good time. It, don't get me wrong, it is so much work. I'm actually a little bit nervous. It's like having a baby again, right? Where you're like, okay, I had this baby. It was great. This baby's great. I can do this again, right? And you forget how much work it is, but I remember. This weekend we, we're doing a workshop and I am the musical director and beside me I have Whitney Smith who is the artistic director who is running part of the workshop with me which is really exciting because she's awesome. But yeah it's definitely about like there's a girl, there's a boy, they want to get together and they just can't because her father the king uh, doesn't want that to happen. So. Uh, there has been created a contest that um, this man has to enter, which he's like doomed to fail. Uh, but of course, are the odds in his favor? We shall see! <laughs>